Blue Mountain Mystery Take and Play merch is amazing. Now, for the average Thomas special, all you'd get in the Take and Play range is the new characters, a set, and a pack or two if you're lucky. But oh, did Take and Play go all out with Blue Mountain Mystery? We got engines. Not one, not two, but three packs based off of the movie, and a whopping four sets based off the film. In this video, we're going to take a look at each individual piece of Take and Play merchandise based off of the film and see if this is truly how you merchandise a Thomas special. First, let's start with the engines. Blue Mountain Mystery introduced four characters into the show. Luke, Winston, Merrick and Owen. Merrick and Owen were cranes and inclined traction engine respectively, so of course they wouldn't get individual engine releases. Luke and Winston did receive individual engine releases though. Luke's model was nicely accurate to his appearance in the film, though he could have done with a taller funnel. Winston is accurate to his appearance in the film as well, and I like the inclusion of the fat controller inside him. The individual engine releases for the film did not stop there though, as we got not one, but two variants of Victor. In the film, we are shown Victor's backstory of how he came to Sodor. In the flashback, Victor was painted in a different bright yellow livery with green lining, which his first variant release for the film, Victor Comes to Sodor, was based from. Later in the flashback, the chains holding Victor to the boat snapped, and he was accidentally knocked off the boat into the sea when he arrived on Sodor. He was later on lifted out the sea, and was rusty and dirty, which his second variant, Victor's Great Splash, was based from. Moving on from individual engine releases for the film, we have the packs based from the film. The first two are the diecast deliveries style packs. The first is Reneus' coat of new paint. Firstly in the pack we have Yellow Reneus. This is based off of the final scene in the movie where Reneus puffs out the steamworks in a yellow livery, joking about Thomas looking for a yellow engine throughout the film. The pack also includes a cargo car with TNT cargo and a gunpowder car which is seen in the film. The other diecast deliveries pack is Sir Handel's Day at the Quarry. This isn't based off of a particular scene in the film unlike Yellow Renéas. The pack includes a quarry dust covered Sir Handel, along with a silver cargo car with gravel cargo, and a Blue Mountain Quarry Hopper car scene in the film also with gravel inside. Lastly is a four pack called Tales from the Past engine pack. This pack featured four engine variants based off of flashbacks to past events shown in the movie. It includes a dirt covered Thomas based off Down the Mine, jam and trousers covered Percy from A Scarf for Percy, logs covered Diesel from Misty Island Rescue, and a getting repainted Victor from Victor's flashback he tells in the film. All three packs released for the film are absolutely amazing and I'd love to own them someday. Moving on from the packs is the whopping four sets based off the film. The first is the big advertised set based off the film, The Great Quarry Climb. This set revolves around Owen's winch and is based from the scene in the film where Thomas tells Owen to pull him up the incline so he can speak to Luke. The set replicates the scene well, including a working winch that attaches to Thomas's front coupler to pull him up the incline. On the bottom floor of the set is a turntable and saw. Vehicles the set includes is a regular 2010 style Thomas, this changes the engine's redesign through the years, a brown truck with slate cargo, and of course the main feature of the event, Owen. This set is fantastic. It recreates the scene it is based off of so well, and the winch feature is so clever, and this isn't the only feature. You can turn Thomas around on the turntable, which is literally in the film, and use the saw to cut the slate included. Definitely one of the best diecast sets released ever. Next are the three other sets based off of the film, each being repaints of previous sets. The first is the slate loading station set, repainted from the load and go set. This set is based off of the part of the Blue Mountain Quarry that moves the slate across to the compartment that loads the slate and gravel into the trucks. In the set, it included two barrels and a gravel cargo piece that can be transported into the red truck included with the 2010 Thomas included in the set. I like how they used an already existing set and turned it into something that is seen in the film. Very clever. The next set is the Paxton at the Blue Mountain Stone Shed set repainted from the multiple small shed style sets released in 2010. The set though, added to it. The set of course featured the small portable stone shed and Paxton, but also a selection of exclusive blue, Blue Mountain Quarry trap pieces, only available in this set which added so much to it and also is a good selling point to it. 
if only more Blue Mountain Quarry track was released. Finally, it's the Blue Mountain Quarry Deluxe set. This is repainted from two portable sets this time. The first part, the main quarry section, is repainted from the Rock Quarry Run set, and the Blue Mountain Repair Shop is repainted from the Sodor Steamworks Repair Shed set. In the set, you send the gravel cargo piece up the cargo lift to the top of the set. The set also features Thomas and Diesel models to roll around the set. If there would be two things I'd do to improve this set, is to include a cargo car to put the gravel cargo piece in, and also make the track be blue coloured to make it feel more like it's in the Blue Mountain Quarry. The amount of sets we received in the Take and Play range based off the film is amazing, and more than we received in the range for any other film. The fact we received four sets is so cool, and I love that you can connect all four sets together to create one big Take and Play Blue Mountain Quarry. This was such a cool decision by Mattel. I really wish they did this with other Thomas specials. Like imagine a bunch of sets released that connected together to make a big Take and Play Misty Island like what Trackmaster did. This video was something new, and a nice different type of video to try out, and I'd love to cover another movie or DVD based Take and Play sub range in the future. Starting from this video is a new schedule I'm following to help pump out more content and to keep my channel more active. The next video I have planned is, fingers crossed, the collab with Piece of J on the evolution of Diecast Diesel I announced a while ago. This is all I've got to say for this video, and I'll see you guys then. Bye!